Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I don't know everything, and I readily admit that pretty much every day, especially now that I'm uh, <clears throat> married. We have an uh, email that came in from uh, one of our new community members. Uh, his name is Andre. He says, I just started watching your videos in YouTube and your live channels this Friday and have found some very helpful things. I live in Bogota, Colombia, just for you to know and tell where your contributions go, and I have a very good suggestion about wireless networks that could help other people. After setting up my wireless network, the single strength for my computer would drop for absolutely no reason for a couple of hours every couple of days. The solution? I downloaded a widget, Airport Radar, I use OS X, that allowed me to see the channels that the other networks were using and simply chose the one that wasn't being used, using an unused channel, more signal strength, and no interruptions. I hope this will be a useful tip for everybody that have a lot of inf interference. See you around, and don't keep buying your wife grandma shoes. Just kidding. Thanks for all the help. Well, it's obvious then that uh, Andre has been watching the YouTube videos, and I didn't mean to buy Ponzi grandma shoes. Never going to live that down. Even when she becomes a grandma, she's not going to want grandma shoes. But it's beside the point. He speaks very clearly about an issue that faces a lot of people. You probably have a lot of devices in your home, specifically wireless devices, or maybe it happens to be a wired device, but it operates on the same spectrum as does your Wi-Fi access point, your internet router, you know, something that broadcasts a wireless signal. If you have a microwave, that's operating on the same spectrum as your wireless router. If you have a mobile device, or I mean, I'm sorry, a cordless phone, it is a mobile device, I can carry it around, but there's no cord on it. You guys still remember corded phones? Do they still make those anymore? Any old way, uh, when you uh, go to configure your wireless router, you can choose typically which channel that signal broadcasts from. And in this case, he found one channel was uh, not being used by any other wireless device that happened to be within his range. He used airport radar, on, uh, radar I should say, in OS X. Uh, I believe NetStumbler was a utility that you can download for Windows at least, and that will scan the local area and tell you uh, w more about the access points that are broadcasting signals, how strong they are, if there's any encryption, what level of encryption, and you know detailed information that more people really would ever want to know. Um, you, you would never need to know a lot of this information, but knowing the channel IDs specifically or which channel these wireless access points, uh, wireless routers, etc., are broadcasting from could help you decide which is the most unused channel or the least used channel that happens to be within the vicinity of your access point. And changing this is a, it's a really good tip. It's a really solid wireless networking tip. Uh, if you're running an interference, check the channel. Um, I happen to have a, a channel scanner built into my wireless access point uh, that tells me what is around the area so that I can choose a, a wireless channel and know how far away um, it believes the nearest signal is that might interfere with the signal that's broadcasting from my wireless access point. Could always use more wireless network tips, that's for sure. So if you've got a suggestion to make, a special tip, you can email me, chris at perillo.com. I'm always there. And if I'm not there, well, emails asynchronous so you can email me anytime I'm typically at live.perillo.com streaming live over the internets anywhere you can get me or audio and video and if I'm not there the chat rooms there we love taking tips and talking tech hopefully uh, we'll see you there and next time you stop in the chat room Andre be sure to say hello specifically for uh, you know relating the whole grandma boot wife thing 